Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and this is part two of the antique store shop with me video. Oh, train. what could be better? That is nice. How much was it, by the way? I don't know. I didn't look at it. I'm not getting it. I just. Oh, Ooh, 15. 15. Yuck. But look at all the it's pictures. More of the old stuff. I have more. Ooh. A little old for me, but cool. Mmm. Very old. This there's looks like a nice. There. Yeah. This is a nice booth for that. Oh, and there's a, a Coca Cola train down here. What scale is that? It's bigger than HO. I don't know. Here's another if you want to show it. The Great Book of Trains. That's actually cheaper yet. Oh, really? I kind of like this one more so than. Not just because it's cheaper, but. Yeah, I've got that. That's a cool book. You should get it. How much is it? Well, I'll I, never get all that red in my life. No. Oh, you're very slow pessimistic then. It's a lot of steam trains, though. Yeah, but look, I think you should get that. The Great Book of Trains. And it has so many cool Why pictures not? in there. You could learn so much. You could be an expert in trainology. Let me think about it. Oh, I've got a couple things like that on my store right now. Yeah. Not as colorfully painted as that one. Here it. He's cute. Oh, a little gold vase. It's called Weeping Gold, whenever it looks like this, by the way. And it's usually 24 or 22 karat gold. Fenton, it says. On hmm. The tag. I don't know about them apples. It's cased glass. I just, I'm not an expert in Fenton. Looks like there used to be a Fenton sticker, oval sticker on the bottom. Or maybe that's just, I don't know. That could just be an inclusion. Oh boy, pure lard. Sounds appetizing. That's a nice peach luster. Is it Federal or Fire King? I don't know. Let's peach find out. With ivy. with ivy. It's not listed, it's not written on there. Oh. But it's uh, an ivory glass. Doesn't say. Um, which means, I don't know. It could be any of them. Like Hawking, Hazel Atlas. Look at all the beautiful blue china. Hmm. It's mostly transfer wear. I don't see any flow blue except here. I would guess that would be considered flow blue. Blue willow. Never, I haven't really been into blue willow or flow blue stuff. Not not my cup of uh, tea. I like this booth over here because of all the glasses. Oh, you're over here again. Yeah, that's where I got quite a few of my bonanza mugs, which from in here. Bonanza. So those people apparently Oreo like it. dunk. I could get that Ponderosa one. You could. You could go wild in here. pretty plain. Though. I tried actually talking you into that one last time and you said no. Yeah, I had enough to buy that day. Did you though? I might I get don't that think one. You did. I don't see a Mickey Donald in this. A McDonald one? Yeah, I'm surprised. Usually those are, those are very prevalent. I think there's another side to this. Is there glasses over there too? Um, there's, yeah, a lot of stuff. A variety over here. I could always get that other Oh thing. yes, a variety. I have that pattern, some of it. No for seven dollars. Nope. It's a no. It's Homer Laughlin, right? That one is, yeah, that one is, but there's other people that have that pattern, other makers. Hey, I have, I just found mugs that were the same, like, green black, and black and green stripe. But this isn't even, I don't, I guess that's restaurant wear, but it's not hard. Hmm. Yeah, they say railroad gravy boat. Oh, cool. I wonder which railroad. Japan. What does this mean? H L. This is so old. The tag is like so faded. This was forty dollars. Unfortunately, too much for me. I don't know if you would know what line H L. It does not look like H. Huh. It's H something something R. I can't tell. H L L R That's not or A. thinking at first, but that's an A at the end, isn't it? Oh. Because of that line that Oh maybe. H L L A. I don't hmm. know. 
something. That's cool. Is that a fishbowl? I guess. Um, I would imagine. Let's go. Five dollars. Is it damaged? Is it supposed to have water in the bowl? Probably so. <laughs> you think? Mm hmm. Yeah, because this all would all dance around in it. Oh, oh they're fish. Yeah, yeah, it was a fish bowl. So the water came out. Can we add water to it? I, I think know. it evaporated, right? Oh, maybe. So somehow you'd have to like un unglue it, put water mm -hmm. in it, reglue it. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see it. Do you think this should be a, a project that I no? I don't. I wouldn't know how to get the glass off without it breaking in the glue. I wouldn't either. That's a shame. I see a McDonald's mug over there in your hand. Yeah, McDonald's and Ponderosa. You found so it. Find something better. Does it have you the year on it like you are wanting? No. Okay. This look, look how big these chalkware I things know, are. Those are huge. Oh my gosh, it's carnival prizes. What is what is she doing? Is she painting? Yeah, okay, I is guess. The brush... Is that supposed to be an artist hat? We can make sure it's not broken off. Um, I th There's something. Oh, that's paint that got on her, I guess. But she's cute. Mm. Really cute. If she was five, I'd probably get her. But she's twelve. Ooh. Look at all these bowls. Your um, winking owl cookie jar is gone. Oh, it used to be. It used to be right up there, hmm. next to the kooky girl. Oh. Kooky. That's cool. I feel like I just saw that. Somewhere. Or is that cookie? No, it says kooky. Okay, I forgot how to spell cookie for a hot minute there. <laughs> Would you imagine that I found some more salt and peppers? These little skunks here are just calling my name. Now they are nine dollars, so I mean we're not we're not cheap shakers here, but they are Norcrest, which I'm more excited about because I love Norcrest. I just the quality is just they're they're good. So um, nine dollars for the skunks, and I'm gonna probably be able to sell these for oh about twenty five thirty dollars with shipping included um, because they are so cute and unique, and skunks are popular. Look at the turtles. Hmm, those are fun. Um, they've got owls, and I don't know if any of these other ones I'm gonna go after today. I have a whole bunch of other ones up at the, well, like five or about five other ones up at the register. Erin, do you know anything about a railroad that could be like, there was this cream or, or a gravy boat back there and it called it Railroad China, and. It's yeah. Like and it said they had like a weird scripty looking monogram type thing, it and it said like eight something something something. Well, they're going back to look at that. Oh, look at this old gift wrap down here. <gasps> that is so cool. The thing about gift wrap, it's really awesome, but it's like you're afraid to use it. I would be ten dollars. Oh my gosh, crafters would love that but um oh my god and there's three of them that is so cool i'm not gonna do it but oh look at this little dog oh, oh. is it japan is that a pekingese it says i'm glad it says what it is oh, that is so cute where's barb at for six dollars that's a little bit higher than i'd like to spend on figurines barb should I buy this Pekingese? Hey, you knew what it was. It said. It, but it, it oh, said does it say Pekingese? Yeah, it does. They, it could also be a Cavalier cocker spaniel. Oh, King Charles. But I think it is a Pekingese. Okay, six dollars is more than I like to spend, but it's well, it's very pretty. That's a that's a close one. I know, isn't it? Um, so I'm listening to all of you shout at your computers right now. Mm -hmm. Put your answers in. Should I get it? What is the verdict? Oh, it's a it's blurry. It's hard. Guy. If it was four, I would say yes. And then, oh gosh. I'm gonna get it. Okay. It'll sell. Ooh, beautiful stained glass. Ooh, fan purses. Ooh, flapper dapper days. Hmm. Oh, cannot forget my, my animals. Oh. Baby shoes. This is a fun little cart. Yeah. Makes me want to buy a castle and have a like tea time. Or something. Yes. Cute. 
Look at that Jack in a box. Right here. Oh, and there's yeah. Jack on the box. <laughs> Oh. Look at this flower frog. Oh yeah. Is that, oh, that it's Van Briggle. Like, okay. It looks like Weller. Yeah. But yeah, that feels the same as your Weller. Bowl. Van Briggle's pretty popular. Fifty-five dollars. That'd be nice if it was in the bowl. It's supposed to be in. That would be true. Yeah. This is a pretty. Nice. There is a bunch of stuff in here. There's a lot. There's some hole back there, maybe. McCoy hole. Whew. Boy, Royal Copley, restaurant ware. Hey now. Where is it? Well, there's a cup and saucer with some leaves on it. Okay. And there's the, well, that's the only the one I think is kind of cool. Drive, yeah. Um, we what got, is that, a Yeti? Yeah. That's Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Santa Claus doing his thing. They've got some Linux, which I don't care about, but I always feel like I have to mention it. That's kind of pretty green ivy. Oh, that is beautiful. $25. Look at that. And they have longer burger. Now they call this Ivy. But oh. like you said on that other one that you bought, see, mm -hmm. it's kind of like they're just calling all leaves Ivy. I yeah, think those a are lot like times. Yeah. a different kind of a leaf. Yeah, I think so. Oh, look, look back there. Where, what? Scoot in a boot. I mean, what? what? I don't know. It rhymed. <laughs> Um, there's a napkin thing back there that has ivy leaves on it. Oh, back there. Is okay. that a napkin thing? We'll get it. We will get or does it, it hold your... Oh, it holds something, like a plant. Or what does it say? Ivy sugar, Sug like sugar packet holder. Oh, it's not I don't marked. do that. You could throw it back. Mmm. So you'll have to think about your little mug. Yeah, it's 9.50 for the I set, mean, I guess but... it's too much then. I mean, it's been here for a while. This is when I wish that they had a sale. Oh, now this one's this one's newer than this one. Oh, really? Interpace is oh, newer. Oh, yes, that's right. It's from the 70s or so. Yeah. I don't know. What a shame. It's still nice. This is a really cool booth. And I remember it from last time because I pointed out the Pyrex balloons. Um, bowls, mixing bowls. The They're still here. The not gooseberry. That bad. Well, actually, I remember the um, Pyrex balloons not being very expensive either. They had them priced separately, though. Well, the little one's forty-five dollars, and the big one is like probably fifty-five. Okay. But um, I already have them. Yep. I overpaid for them, I think, at that auction. But you know, I paid like what was it, one hundred and ten? I don't remember. It's been so long. It was a long time ago. But I really. There's a bunch of vases over them. there. And there's a cat teapot. Don't you have one of those? Yes, I do. I have that very similar. It's very similar, but mine is not as, like, dark. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, that booth. I forgot. Yeah. I'm in trouble now. It's always here to mock us. We're in big trouble now. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. I don't think I've ever seen a gingerbread blow mold like that. Mm-hmm. I actually met these people that have this booth. They were, um, they, oh yeah, they came by um, the Ten Pen Antique Mall where I have a few booths at, and we were, got to talking. Um, and they, ironically, they were out shopping for things to resell themselves at other antique malls. So we all do it. We all go around and see what's out there. I'm I'm really not in the mood for Christmas stuff, so. I'm barely looking. What is this? Poker? But, oh my gosh, it, you can count your chips with it. That's so neat. Or some, It does something, which is cool. Hmm. I even kind oh. of like that, that velvety looking candle. I do too, that velvety candle. Vintage Halloween Planter, $18. He's cute. It's actually more so fall. Yeah. An autumn, so it's adaptable because he has his turkey head on. Mm -hmm. Very cute. It looks like Relpo, kind of. Yeah. What? 1987 Bonanza mug. I probably have that one. 
It says Centralia and Mount Vernon on it. I have that. Oh, that's Mother's Day. You don't have Mother's Day. I'm not buying any more than those two. You days. only have Father's Day. I've got him wrapped. He wrapped them up. So don't you have? He, he's that's been fine. rapping the whole time. Yeah. He's a good I'm rapper. I'm not getting any more. But you don't want to have, have Mother's Day? You don't have Mother's Day. I don't need both. I'm not a mother. I might be a father. Never really? Know. Really? Never know. <laughs> I, never know. I didn't know that. that we, we might never know. Could, could I don't think sometime. that's happening. <laughs> never know. Last time I checked. Um, Let's just put it this way. The mother's not possible. The other is. Hey, here's my birthday. Father's Day, 1989. I have that one, too. I've you do? Got that too. Oh, you do. You have my year? Yeah. If any of the McDonald's ones had a year, I'd get them. Look at the tiger. What tiger is this from? Is it Esso or something? Or it's from a gas station. Isn't that Esso? Yeah. It used to be a gas station called Tiger. No, it used to be called Esso. And I'm so happy that I knew that. I don't know. Because I'm because I'm not a big gas station person. No, they have a lot. Of Fun them. fact: If they anybody have thought a I lot was. Of those mugs in the store. I know. I it's that. like everybody drink. Bonanza was a good place though, folks. I don't know if you guys remember that. I'm sure some of you do. Yeah, I think they're old enough they're, to know uh, who that is or where that is. Yeah, when I was a kid, that was uh, a, a hot spot to go. And then Ponderosa. A hot spot. Well, <laughs> then Ponderosa took over and now Ponderosa's pretty much gone too. And now we, all we have is crappy old Golden Corral. Yeah, I don't get excited I about still that. never even tried it. It's I wouldn't expensive. recommend it. If, that, if it was like $7 for the buffet, I'd go a lot more often. About that it is. It's like fourteen or fifteen dollars, yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a figurine hugging that. It's a candle hugger. They call those. That's cute. I, I can't see the price. Six dollars. You might like that. I bet you do. I do, but okay. There's not really a matching pair. And... It's not always about the pairs. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just found the coolest old soda fountain syrup dispensers. They have a raspberry. I'm gonna tell you the price. Just the, oh, you probably never mind. You already saw it, everyone. Fourteen fifty. Really? Oh, and it still pumps. So are these actually old? I wonder because this chrome looks a little. No, that looks that looks legit inside. I was just looking at this kind of chrome. Yeah, I, that does look older. I used to work at an ice cream shop, if nobody knew that, and we had a a Sunday bar with all of these, except ours was not near as old. They had the plastic black the bottom parts and um, stainless steel tops. And this is like the old ceramic and chrome way uh, with porcelain thingies for an old soda fountain. Can I believe that? Um, so, I mean, like in theory, this would be cool for the basement downstairs, my soda fountain, but you don't, you won't, don't normally just stick them like this on a counter. They, they would set into a refrigerated thing with this lip here being the thing that holds it up. Uh, so yeah, and it's, they're heavy and bulky. I don't needed that in my life, but ah, it's so cool. So I just came across this really cute owl in a tree. Oh my gosh, it's $5 and 35 cents, a no brainer and it is marked on the bottom norcrest which is just i keep finding norcrest stuff today so yeah 535 what a deal that is perfect i love that so much oh my i always kind of like these these old banks with the locks yeah. connecting the top you know like the head and the bottom it looks like that's the coin slot in the oh mouth. that is ingenious there was a dog one that we saw one time yeah. and usually they're broken well, how much do they want uh, ten dollars. That's not bad. I mean, can't it, get into it, but and the cold paint is yeah. pretty worn, but it's cute. Yeah, isn't that one of those um, planters that Jocelyn sold at one time with the sunburst on it? The jardinier, or however you say it. Yeah, I thought it had a name like. Yeah, it does. I can't get to the tag, but oh, I have something in my other hand. Brush McCoy Jardinier. Hmm. I could have sworn it had like a special name. Maybe not. I know. For something the about pattern. Sun and the moon. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Sun and Moon, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, these Siamese kittens are so pretty. $12. Those are neat. What, are they shakers? Yeah. Yeah. You Very. Don't think those are good? For $12? I mean, what do you think? That's kind of a lot. Yeah. That's true. 
I wonder if I could sell them for like 30 with shipping included. But then I would pay 12 and then I would pay another like $5 shipping so that's 17 and then I would pay Aaron. So let's and then uh, it's like low 20. I pay you. Remember oh, that yeah, check yeah, that oh, you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, oh. you're looking at this long cat and I'm like, you're going to pay me for it? I don't understand. Oh, brother. No, if I bought it and sold it. Um, oh, okay. You're figuring out your whole process, right? Yeah, I'm trying to work myself because it's a little higher than I'd like to spend. But they are definitely unique. I'm going to think about that one. Okay, I'm just going to take a chance on these. I think the price is a little bit higher than I'd like to spend, but they are very cool. And um, I don't want to regret it, so... And I like the fact that they have the stamps, uh, the, the stickers on them. No chips or cracks. They're in really great shape. Very mid-century, so yeah. Okay, so I was looking over this one more time and I wanna tell myself definitely that I'm gonna walk away uh, and not feel bad about it because I'm just not into these like little flea bites here. But this side's a little bit worse than the other. Those white flea bites. And then on the other side, there are there's one like right there more so and it's twelve dollars but i'm just gonna pass on it i think okay <laughs> so we made our way back over here to these lamps and i think barb you're, you should get it no you're not gonna get that one i don't think so okay aaron we are gonna get this one i'm not For, i am gonna get I this one. one it's I'm twenty dollars we bought that other really cool shade or lamp but i think i'm gonna swap out the shade on the one we have at home which is kind of a double one like this but style wise it looks like this and we'll have this base but it's only twenty dollars i feel dumb for walking away. i just love this coloration so much that i i would feel i'm gonna get this one barb it's on you if you don't so i see you eyeing that shade up it's a good one yeah it's interesting they i think they redid these because yeah the the hardware doesn't uh, match no. like this is a different shape than the other. oh yeah that's pretty normal yeah i find that a lot yeah Oh, and this plug is different than your plug. Yeah. This is like a that kind and you got like a round kind. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do it. Hmm. You're still looking it over, huh? No, I don't I'm not going to Oh, you're, you're you're waiting for me to put it up. I see. Okay. Oh, no, I can put it up. Oh. Okay. I just had to show this. It's one of these old ice cream cone holders and it is only $10. I couldn't believe that price, but the holder is $10. And then there's those little cups down there to hold your cone when you're, um, I guess, making a cone. I didn't know that was a thing. We used to put a little napkin around the bottom, but uh, the cups are $10. And then this machine, the unit, not a machine, is uh, $10. And it holds like four cone. It has room for like four cones to come down and hang from it. But what's more intriguing is that it's the Eat It, Eat it All brand. It says Eat It All. I have a little cardboard hanging thing, like a mobile same company. It's just so cool. It looks like it's from the 60s or very early 70s, I bet. But I just, I just, I think I have to leave it. I don't know. Do you have to leave it? Do I have to leave it? No. Do I have to buy it? <laughs> I've, I've never seen one. That's right, my thing. Right, that's what I'm saying. And because it matches your other sign, the brand or whatever you said, right? Jesus. Okay. Okay, so that was a really successful time. I bought a lot of salt and pepper shakers in the two, the last two videos of this. It was a two-parter. Um, and Barb, what'd you buy? One restaurant wear mug. Oh no. <laughs> but seriously, if that other matching lamp is here, when I come back, I might buy it, I think. Yeah. And what did you get? Just, those, just that Ponderosa cup and a uh, McDonald's one. I collect the Bonanza and some of those restaurant cups, so. <laughs> yes, and at the last minute I found that and I did buy it. I, would, I said I wasn't because like, you know, but I did, I got that awesome ice cream cone holder. Well, with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.